Hello, good evening. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, it's good to see you again. So it's time to start. Welcome to our second class. I will pass the attendance, okay? So remember to say present. Adrián Erasmo. Ana Beatriz. Andrea Cecilia. Present. Excellent. Okay, yes. Brenda Guadalupe. Present. Great. Brenda Isabel. Brenda Isabel. ¿Por qué? Carlos Ricardo. Present. Ok. Carlos Roberto. Present. Ok. Cecia Beatriz. Cecia, no. Darlene Stephanie. Dennis Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay. Edith Vanessa. Present. Excellent. Fatima Margarita. Present. Excellent. Flavio Emanuel. Present. Great. Gabriela Maribel. Carla Azucena. Present teacher. Excellent, Carla. Thank you. Carla Vanessa. Present. Ok. Luis Edenilson. Present. Excellent. Marvin Alexander. Present me. Excellent. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Nancy Yacel. Nancy Yacel Rivera. Nancy Soledad Garay. No. Nora Eloisa Barahona. Pamela Noemí. Raquel Abigail. Richard Joel. 
Ok. Robert Adalberto. Present. Excellent. Ronnie Alexander. Present. Great. Roxana Francisca. Present. Excellent. And Jamie Marisol. Present. Excellent. Okay, for today, we're going to continue with the uh, present simple tense. And we're going to see the structure, how to make sentences, and we're going to do some exercises on the platform also. Okay, so let us start. Teacher. Uh, yes. Eh, yo entré después cuando ya había comenzado la pasar lista y no sé si me toma mi lista. Adrián. Yes. Uh, Adrián Erasmo. Okay. Correct. Ahorita. Ok, ya lo puse. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Muy bien, entonces teníamos mmm, the structure of the simple present que creo que la iniciamos a ver el día de ayer, ¿verdad? Y eso no, no vimos todavía la estructura. Nos habíamos quedado en lo de la family. Here. Yes. Yes. Ah, ok, muy bien, entonces... Tenemos la estructura del simple present tense que we are going to use or we are going to start with the subject. Que okay, tenemos ahí los diferentes subjects. I, you, he, she, we, and they. Then we are going to continue with the verb. Okay, with the verb in simple present o sea que sería el verbo en su forma eh, como en su forma simple en, tenemos walk ride works, takes, live and use solamente que cuando trabajamos con el presente simple y el, el, la tercera persona del singular, que sería he, she, and it, que no aparece ahí, pero que también va incluido, debemos hacer una, una modificación en nuestros verbos. Y, as you can see, y we are going to add an S at the end of the verb. Cuando estamos hablando de tercera persona del singular. He works. She takes. It writes. It rings. Y okay, agregamos una S y en algunos casos se agrega IS. Okay, este sería como el cambio que usted debe de recordar cuando estamos usando el presente simple. Y la tercera persona del singular. So let's see. And well, and then you're going to finish with the complement. So pronoun, verb, complement. Okay, and, and he, she, it. Remember that you have to add an S or ES. Okay, let's check some rules. Says, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo lo vamos a cambiar? ¿Cómo vamos a cambiar esa, esa parte? Vamos a ver. Here. Well, también.
the simple present tense, okay, we're going to use uh, this time to describe habits, facts, or unchanging situations. Esto sería cuando vamos a utilizar este tiempo, el, el presente simple, ¿ok? Cuando estemos hablando de habits, o sea, cosas que usted hace regularly. Okay. You take a bath every day. Okay. You eat your breakfast every day. So they are habits, things that you do not only once or twice, sino que las hace regularmente, regularly. Okay. También para facts, que okay, los facts serían cosas que están comprobadas científicamente y que son ciertas. So those are facts. Cuando usted habla entonces de un fact, algo que esté comprobado, like the, the moon, no, Um, the, the earth rotates around the sun. Que okay, eso es un hecho que está comprobado. O sea, no tenemos duda de que pasa de esa manera. So in this case, you are going to use simple present. Que okay, the earth rotates around the sun. Y también se va a utilizar for unchanging situations. Y cosas que no van a cambiar. O sea que van a, van a mantenerse constantes o que siempre van a ser ciertas. Y además en nuestros complements podemos observar some signal words. Entonces cuando usted vea una de estas palabras eh, va a utilizar o se refiere a que se está utilizando el simple present como por ejemplo every day, often, always, sometimes, never. So when you identify one of these signal words, you have to immediately think that you are going to use simple present. Y ahí tenemos la estructura, ¿verdad? Que ya la habíamos visto, the subject the verb and the complement. Y para su forma negativa, we have the subject. Vamos a agregar un auxiliary, que sería do or does, que does lo vamos a utilizar con tercera persona del singular. He, she, it. Y para hacer el negativo, we are going to add not. Entonces podríamos utilizarlo en su forma larga. Eh, She does not live downtown. O podríamos utilizarlo en su forma corta. She doesn't live downtown. ¿Ok? Y siempre tiene el mismo significado. Um, hasta el momento, questions. Ya vamos a pasar. A, esto sería in general. ¿Ok? In general. Y dijimos que los verbos se iban a mantener. Eh, en infinitivo, ok, live, work, um, walk, take, yes, questions, are you sure, seguro, Sí, sí, solo se me podía repetir que, significa, que era como el significado de un changing. Un changing es que no cambia. They remain the same. Que, okay. por ejemplo, when you say um, I love you, it's supposed to be an unchanging situation. Okay. You are going to love that person the rest of your life. So it will not change. The opposite of change, unchanging, is the opposite of change. Que no cambia. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Muy bien, entonces, veamos el caso de los, uh, de la modificación que vamos a hacer en la tercera persona del singular. 
Okay. So we have to have an S or ES, and in some cases, IES, when we use third person singular, que sería he, she, and it. Y entonces ahí a nuestro verbo vamos a necesitar agregarle una de estas terminaciones. But we have some rules that we have to follow. Okay, so let's check. Only let me bring myself. Okay. So we have play, place, buy, buys. So that's the general rule. Esa sería como la regla general. Añadir es. Work, works. It. Sorry, it, teacher. It, uh, I have a question. Yes. Eh, esta diapositiva. Eh, ¿Se podrá facilitar hacia nosotros o tendríamos que ir copiando para poder aprendernos estas reglas o están en el libro de texto? Uh, no, esas no están, pero yo se las puedo mandar. I can send you later or tomorrow morning. Ok, thanks. Ok, ok. okay. Muy bien, entonces, in general, you only have to add the S. Play, plays, swim, swims, write, writes. But we have some verbs that they end in Y. Entonces tenemos algunos que ter tienen la terminación en Y. In these cases, okay, but we have some exceptions. Okay, they have to end in a consonant plus a Y. Okay, for example, study, cry, try, spy, fly. En estos casos, la Y tiene un sonido de vocal o adopta un sonido de vocal, like a vowel, no como una consonante. So, you have to change the Y for an I. And then, you are going to add ES. So study, uh, it will become studies. Cry, cries. Try, tries. Spy, spies. Fly, flies. Okay. Um, that's for Y ending. Y si ven en estos casos, por ejemplo, los que tenemos acá, play and buy. ¿Por qué no aplicaría la regla? Because we don't have a consonant plus Y, sino que tenemos a vowel plus Y, a vowel plus Y. Entonces, en este caso, sí funge como o sí suena like a consonant, ¿ok? And not like a vowel. Y luego la última, eh, las últimas terminaciones Okay, when the verb ends in O, sh, ch, or s. Okay, you have to add ES. Go, goes. Wash, washes. Watch, watches. Mix, mixes. Kiss, kisses. Okay? So this is in general. And these rules will help you um, with other suffix also. También esas mismas reglas nos va a servir cuando vamos a añadir otros sufijos que van a ir viendo más adelante con otros tiempos verbales. Okay, so now let's make a practice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to write or I'm going to say 
um, a verb and two of you are going to tell me how we are going to change it. Wait a minute. Okay. Here. Here, for example, I will pick um, Roxana and Robert. Okay, the verb will be, I'm going to say the verb and you have to write. Prueba si pueden escribir en la pizarrita. Okay, yes. Okay, entonces, I'm going to say two names and you are going to write the verb with the ending. O sea, lo vamos a escribir modificado. Ya sea añadiendo la terminación S or ES. De acuerdo a las reglas que acabamos de ver. Okay? Okay. Okay, so... The first one okay, will be try, try. Okay, Robert and Roxano. Okay, yes. But it wasn't Robert, neither Roxana, or it was you, Robert. Yes. Sí, yo aún no, no, no lo escribí. And you can use the text or you can use the, the, the pencil, like a drawing. Excuse me? Eh... Pueden usar la herramienta de texto? O pueden hacerlo manual, cualquiera de los dos. La de texto es más fácil. You can type. Esta sería. O con el teclado. Yes. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Me dijo el verbo? Try. Try. Pero bueno, el lado no sé cómo escribirlo. Ah, que Robert está en cell phone, ¿verdad? Creo que Ajá, es estoy en la computadora. Ajá. Okay. Muy bien, next. Vamos con la siguiente. Okay. Vamos con Jamie y Flavio. Ok, ahí va Robert. Ya casi, ya casi, vamos. Okay, the next will be um, love. Okay, vamos con uh -huh. yes. Correct. In next. E let's continue with Edith and Richard. Edith and Richard. The next one. Okay, the next one will be
Uh, wait. Watch. Hurry up. Yes, excellent indeed. The next one will be live. Y sería para Cecilia and Andrea. Live. A ah, Cecia and Andrea. Cecia and Andrea. Me falta algo, Andrea. Yes, correct. Okay, so you have to practice. You have to practice the most of the verbs that you can. Okay. Veamos, let's do the last, last two. Brenda and Nora. Okay. Sería right. Brenda and Nora. Yes, correct, Brenda. No Puedo usar, sí. Mira, yes, yes, correcto. Porque no puedo usar la, no pude usar el, 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 lápiz, el lápiz. La de texto. Sí, pero sí, estoy de acuerdo con ella. Ok. The next will be study. Study. And will be for study. Darling and Fátima. Study. Okay, good job. I yes. think who is the, the, the blue one? Who wrote the blue one? Darling. Okay, yes, correct. Yes, darling. Okay, studies. And the last one, let's see, Luis and Raquel. The verb will be cry. Cry. Luis and Raquel. Are you writing? Okay. Cries, yes, correct, cries. Okay. So remember to practice. I will send you a link in order for you to practice. Okay, let me copy the link. Uh, here are, the, the, this is a list of irregular verbs. Okay, so you can check, you can check the list and you can practice. 
Okay, it's a list of irregular verbs. Okay, now let's do some, some sentences. Okay, we are going to, to type on the chat. You are going to type a sentence in positive, a positive statement. Okay, escriba su oración usando simple present tense con cualquiera de los eh, pronouns or subjects que hemos visto. And with any verb, okay, write an example, your own example. A full sentence. Are you typing? Hurry up. Van a escribir una oración de ejemplo en el chat. Ahorita sería una oración positiva. Hey, what happened? Okay, she watches TV. Y el complement, Marvin? Every day. Recuerden que vimos las palabras que nos iban a marcar el tiempo. She watches TV every day. Or she watches TV um, sometimes. I don't know. Okay, more examples, hurry up. Or do you want to say it rather than write? He sleeps very, la very late every weekend. Okay, yes, Richard, that's correct. I study, creo que sería, it is probably the correct study, English every day, okay. Um, I'm going to work tomorrow. Ese no, no está en presente simple, ese está en futuro. Voy a ir a trabajar mañana. Ese futuro. Estamos en presente simple ahorita. I study English every day. Yes. Okay, Flavio. He works near here. Okay, excellent. I work... Mm. ¿Qué quiere decir Nora en su oración? Que voy a trabajar... Um, via Ah, me faltó ahí viajando al, en el bus. Uh, I go, sería entonces. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Ver. I go to work by bus. I go. Ok. And she plays, pero ¿qué juega? She plays soccer. She plays tennis. Okay, every day. We are good people. Y ¿Dónde está el verbo, Miguel? Este, ser, esta, este ejemplo con el verb to be, pero ahorita estamos usando otro verbo diferente al verb to be. Cualquier verbo que no sea el verb to be. Try, try again. Inténtelo nuevamente with another example. I walk to work every day. Okay, yes. He drives his car. Okay, my mother cooks dinner. Recuerden usar los complements, los marcadores. 
I'm eating. Ese tampoco estaría en presente simple. Porque ese estoy comiendo. Este es presente continuo. Simple present. Dijimos que nuestro verbo se mantiene en infinitivo. En este caso sería eat. Y no vamos a utilizar el verb to be. Sino que sería I eat sweet. Uh, bueno, pongámosle algo más saludable mejor. I eat vegetables every day. Okay. I'm cut a cake. Um, Sin el verb to be sería Adrián. I cut a cake every day or I don't know. Faltaría el complemento. I walk me with my dog every evening. Okay, good example. Excellent, Nancy. He reads the newspaper in the morning. Okay, great. He plays. Okay, recuerden que vamos a, cuando estamos en tercera persona del singular, we have to add the S. He plays tennis every day. I should study. Este no está en presente simple. She plays soccer every day. Okay. He plays in the morning. Um, he plays what? He plays. He plays basketball every morning. Okay, I believe in God. Mm, okay. She works in the afternoon. I study English. Ahí le faltó el agente marcador. He plays tennis every day. Okay, that's better. Muy bien. Ahí estamos con los ejemplos. Okay. Now, give me the same sentence, but in negative. El mismo ejemplo, pero me lo va a hacer de forma negativa. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Ya este se va a tardar menos porque ya sabe cuál es la oración. Only you have to change the sentence into a negative. Hey, come on, come on, hurry up. Ya tiene la oración. Recuerde que vamos a añadir. Okay. I don't study English every day. Okay. I don't walk to work every day. Okay. He reads. He doesn't read. Ah, the newspaper in the morning. Ok, algo que se me había escapado decirles. Cuando utilizamos do or does para hacer nuestras oraciones negativas, como eso es un auxiliar, cuando utilizamos un auxiliary, nuestro verbo ya no necesita una modificación. Entonces, en el caso de el, el, the example from Carlos, que okay, he reads doesn't the newspaper. Well, first you have to change the order. He doesn't, eh, he doesn't read. He doesn't read. Y ahí ya no necesitamos cambiar el verbo porque ya estamos usando el auxiliar que me indica que estoy hablando de una tercera persona del singular. Ok, he doesn't drive his car. Muy bien. He doesn't work near here. Yes. She does not work in the afternoon. Okay. He doesn't read the newspaper in the morning. Yes. 
that's correct. We don't catch the ball, okay? He does not play in the morning. My mother do not cook. Okay, sin la S, Brenda. My mother does not. Sería does. Porque es tercera persona. Sería my mother, sería she. Entonces sería tercera persona del singular. Does. My mother does not or doesn't cook dinner every day. She does not cook a cake. Mm, solo en el agente marcador fallamos, Adrián. She doesn't, she does not cut a cake every day. Porque yesterday estaríamos hablando de pasado. She doesn't watch TV every day, okay? She doesn't play tennis. Yes, correct. Okay, questions so far? Si no, hagamos el ejercicio que está on the platform. Preguntitas. No sé si está claro eso de cuando usamos do or does, no es necesario modificar nuestro verbo. It's clear? Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Este, a mí me corrigió el, el, el das. Eh, entonces, do solo lo voy a usar cuando hablo de, de mi persona. Yes. Cuando no sea ni he, ni she, ni it. O sea que puede ser I, you, we, sí. and they. Ah, ok. Hoy sí queda claro. Gracias. Ok. Por ejemplo, I do not o I don't like mm, uh, pizza, por ejemplo. But it's an example. It's, it's not true. <laughs> I do not like pizza. Okay. Or we don't read books. For example, we don't read books. Solamente si no es he, she, and it, ahí sí podemos usar do. Y en este caso sería don't or do not. Es más común Utilizar ah. la forma contractada in English, always. They prefer the contractive mm. form. Se utiliza más la forma contractada, but it's good to know both. Ok. Mm. Muy bien, entonces hagamos the exercise. Well, we have a lot to do. And we have a, only a few minutes. Ok, my family and I, if we have to pick the correct verb live or lives uh -huh. in the suburbs lives 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 live porque si yo sustituyo uh -huh. my family and I uh -huh. sería we si yo sustituyo eso porque yo estoy incluida ahí y mi familia también entonces sería nosotros como es plural no vamos a utilizar lives sino que lives My family and I live in the suburbs. Then my wife and I work. Oh. Yes, work I near work, here. Porque igual estamos hablando de plural. So, <laughs> we We walk to work. We work. walk. See, nice. We walk to work. Or that or Emily works. Work. Work. Works. 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 Correct. Works downtown. Tercera persona del singular. So she drives. Drives. Drives, drives to work. Or son. Doesn't drive. Doesn't drive. Doesn't drive. Hey, like me. 
Number, okay, the next. He writes. Right. 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 Okay. Conversation two. My parents live, live. 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 in the live. city. My mother Take. takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't, doesn't. doesn't work now. He also he uses, uses public tra transportation, so they don't. 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 don't need a car okay let's check and they are correct we can continue with the next activity okay it's the same all right okay it's different Igual, select the correct verb form. My parents uh, have, have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad go, go downtown yeah. to work. My parents are very busy, so I do that. I do a lot of work at home. My brother doesn't live with us. He has, 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 has muy bien, an apartment in the city. He goes, goes, goes to school all day. And he it does. It does. Yes. does. It's at night. Conversation three. I, I have, 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 have. I have a new I friend. Have. His name is Jason. We go. go to the same school. And sometimes we you do that. And sometimes we do that. Do, do, do. Um, do. We do our homework together. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Y recuerde que deben ir avanzando en la plataforma. Okay. You have to complete all the exercises. Okay. The next, okay, vamos ahora con las questions. Vamos a hacer, vamos a ver primero eh, cómo las vamos a formar. Okay. Ya vimos the simple present y ahora vamos con the simple present questions, okay, las preguntas, the simple present questions. Entonces, en este caso, you have to invert the order. Ya no vamos a empezar con el subject, que era nuestra primera parte de la oración, sino que vamos a iniciar con el auxiliary. We are going to move to the first place. Okay, so do you. Y luego seguimos con el verbo. Como estamos utilizando un auxiliar, dijimos que nuestro verbo no iba a cambiar, no iba a sufrir ningún cambio, sino que se iba a mantener en la base form. Do you read books? Okay. Does Peter play football? Y las primeras, de los primeros dos ejemplos, they are called a yes no question. Okay. Porque las respuestas solamente se limitan a yes or no. Only that. Entonces, cuando usted utiliza auxiliary, it's a yes, no question. Do you have a boyfriend? 
or mm, do your mother do your mother cook the dinner every day okay mm, preguntas de esta parte de las oh. questions Spear teacher. Ok. Entonces, en el, las primeras serían yes no question. Y luego en las segundas, we are going to have an open question. Una pregunta abierta. ¿Dónde vamos a utilizar una double H word? Siempre vamos a mantener el mismo orden de arriba. Mire, auxiliary subject verb. En complement, right? Pero antes del auxiliar, si vamos a hacer una pregunta abierta, so it, if it is an open question, the answer could be whatever. Okay, I cannot control the answer. Esa sería la diferencia. Because I need information. I need information. Entonces yo hago estas preguntas para poder. Eh, obtener información what do you play on your computer okay. when uh, does your mother go to work where do you meet your friends ok esto it's clear digamos que en las primeras se lo podría responder con yes no una pregunta okay. cerrada correct. correct en la primera the answers are yes bueno y tenemos las respuestas cortas ¿verdad? do you read books yes I do yes I do or no I don't, I don't. siempre usando el mismo sujeto en este caso, como it's you, ahí sí cambia, pero, por ejemplo, does Peter play football? No, he, o sea, Peter, no, he doesn't. Yes? Questions? No. no. Un ejemplo podría ser, do you study English? Again, please. Do you study English? Do you study English? Yes. Yes, could be. Okay, give me give me more examples orally. Dame más ejemplos de manera oral. Do you watch TV? Do you watch TV? Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. What else? Who else? Ken Mas. Hello. What do you play soccer? Again, please. What do you play soccer? What? What? Quizás podríamos cambiarlo por where where do you play soccer okay. where do you play soccer okay. can you give me more examples please do you get up early do you get up early okay yes when do you play with me when do you play with me mm, en este caso No aplica because it the answer will be in future. When do you play? Como estamos en presente eh, y la respuesta sería en futuro, we cannot apply the rules. Que okay, recuerde, if it is simple present, 
cuáles son las características y cuándo lo vamos a utilizar. Okay, so try again. Give me another sentence, please. What's playing to the TV? Mm, what? Playing? Mm, tal vez, what do you play? What do you play at the TV? Play the watch or play the like a gamer? The gamer. Okay, what do you play on the TV? Okay, what do you play? Okay, ¿cómo siente en esta parte? Are you ready for the platform? Mm -hmm. No. No questions. Yes, yes, I know. Pero you have to to get used. Se van a acostumbrar, ya van a ver, se van a acostumbrar. Todo es que, que los logren identificar, que memoricen la estructura. Ok, en you have to practice also. Muy bien, entonces veamos el último ejercicio que nos quedaba. We have four minutes. Mm. Bueno, creo que nos quedaban two. Mm. Okay, yes, this one. And no. Uh, okay, I almost asked. Unscramble the questions to complete the conversation. Okay, tell me. Tell me the answer. ¿Cuál sería mi primera palabra de acuerdo a la estructura que acabamos de ver? What? What? Okay, what mm -hmm. uh, time do you eat? Do you eat? Excellent. Number three. Now this class starts at, at nine o'clock. En 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 la segunda ah. teacher faltó una palabra que era lunch. Ah yes. What time do you eat your lunch? Mm, what time do you eat lunch in a jar? Okay, number three. Now, this class starts at, at nine o'clock. Yes. 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 Okay, this class. At eight o'clock. Y el verbo? Start. 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 Yeah. 
Number four. When? 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 Do you mm -hmm. study? Do you study? study. Uh -huh. English. English. Y siempre tienen que escribir English with capital, con mayúscula. In the last one. Do. Mm -hmm. Do you and your friends? Do. Do you and your friends? Uh huh. Play sport. Play a sport. Okay. Let's check. Uh, when do you study? When do en la you... última, en la última creo que puso do I... you. Uh, en la última es do you. do you. Yes. And your friends. Do you and your friends play? Ay, me come la S. Sport. Ok. Mm -mm. No. On the weekend. Ah, on the weekend. On the weekend. Yes. The sports with S. Okay. Ay. Do you on weekends? Oh, no. Day weekends. Play a sport. Play sports. Play sports. Mm -hmm. On weekends. On weekend. On weekend. weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Well, that's the real life. On the platform. Bueno, pero ustedes la tienen buena. What is? What do you? Do you? And your friends. Play. No será el espacio que queda entre friends y play. Okay. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Great. Okay, entonces solo les quedaría un ejercicio por terminar. Try to do it today or tomorrow and tomorrow you have to continue with section section 2. Okay. Only alguien más que haya venido y no le haya tomado asistencia because you came late. Ana Beatriz, Brenda Isabel, Cecia, Cecia. ¿Qué? Yo. No, ahora ya me chequeo. Checking. Sí, de las que estoy mencionando ahorita. Ah, okay. Darling, no me había tomado. Darling, yes. Brenda Isabel. Brenda Isabel, ok. Gabriela Maribel. Nancy Yacel. Nancy Soledad. Present. Nora Eloisa. Present. Pamela Noemí. Richa ah, no, Raquel Abigail. Okay, so that will be all. Remember to work on the platform and we will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.